Okay, it's going fast, y'all. NASCAR taking to the streets this weekend for Bubba Wallace. It's about the excitement of a street race and connecting with the black community. News Nation's Nick Smith has more trackside in downtown Chicago. In fact, Bubba Wallace is just one of three African Americans to ever win NASCAR. Wendell Scott was the first back in 1963, with Wallace becoming the second nearly 50 years later in 2013, and Raja Carruth winning his first race in NASCAR's Truck Series earlier this year. Before meeting with hundreds of young fans on Friday, Wallace reflected on how far NASCAR's diversity efforts have come in the 11 years since his first win. You know, there still hasn't been much on the competition side, but. You've seen a lot of people behind the scenes. You know, that has totally changed. You're starting to see more behind the scenes stuff. Um, it's well diverse. I think we could still do more. Um, but from the competition side, from the driving side, it's, it's tough. You got to show up. And at the end of the day, results matter. I asked Bubba, how does it feel racing in Chicago? And he says that making the trip to Chicago was that much more special for him because it gave him the chance to win in a town so closely linked to his world famous boss, basketball icon Michael Jordan. It's cool to be representing iconic number 23 in the Chicago uh, city limits. And so we just got to go out and try to be as good as him. Now get this, Wallace told me now, while he's excited to be racing in Chicago, he says there is no added pressure because it's Michael Jordan's town. He says, hey, Michael played basketball. I race cars. So Bubba is very comfortable staying in his lane and doing what he does. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.